Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cosmo and I'm going to teach you how to do that scribble animation text that's really popular in a lot of music videos today using Final Cut 10 and this Wacom tablet. You're going to also need ArtRage, a program that comes with this tablet when you buy it. It's like $50. There might be an easier way to do this. I don't know. I've searched all over the internet for an easy way to do the scribble animation effect with Final Cut 10 but I haven't found anything. So this is the way that I do it. And if you're interested, check it out. And please, please, if you find an easier way to do it, let me know because this is the only way that I've figured it out. So let's get started. I'll try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, I use the Wacom tablet. This is it here. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. I'm not sure if it's the best one, but it works perfectly fine for what I need it for. When you purchase the tablet, you get the option of getting the free ArtRage software or a lynda.com tutorial. I chose the software, so that's what I'll be using here. So let's get started here. I have my desktop here. I like to keep things organized, so I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this how to draw, and I'm gonna leave this on my desktop, and this is where I'm gonna put all my drawings and pictures before I upload it to Final Cut. So then I'm gonna go open up Final Cut. It's gonna take some time. And then go to my project. So here I have my project, and I just pulled a random music video from the internet. I'm gonna use this as a template. So first thing you need to do is you need to find a frame or a template that you want to draw over so you know where you're drawing. So in this case, I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to pick this frame. Then I'm going to go up to Export. I'm going to save the current frame. Then I'm going to save it in that folder that we made, how to draw. Save. Good. I'm going to go down, just to make sure it's there, good. So then I'm going to go over and pull up ArtRage, which is the free drawing software that comes with your Wacom tablet. And as you can see, you always start off with a white background, a white template, which is good, but not what you need for when you're going to import it back into Final Cut and overlay it on your video. So first thing you need, so first thing you need to do you just need to go up to View, Canvas Settings, go over Canvas Color, and make it black. This is so when you overlay your drawing on the video, you can blend it in with the, whatever you're putting it on. So now we have our black canvas here. And we're going to go over to tracing and we're going to pull up that still that we took from our video. So this is so we know where to, where to draw. So in this case, she's in the middle here and you can go over here. You have a lot of options to pick from drawing wise. I'm just going to use this paintbrush. I'm going to go over to maybe change the color a little bit, make like a bright yellow. And we're going to go over here and we're just going to draw, start drawing a little bit. Let me do an outline. Some squiggly lines. I'm not really an artist, so don't judge me. All right, we got some squiggly lines there. Maybe a star. That looks cool. Not really, but just an example. So we have the picture that we want, and this is this is it. So now you're done drawing, and you want to import your picture to Final Cut so you can overlay it on your video. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to export image file. We're going to go to our folder, oops, on our desktop. We're going to go to how to draw. And we're just going to label this one. I like to do it this way. I like to go one, two, three, four, just in order. 
just to keep it organized. And you got to make sure that you choose JPEG image. Press save. So let's see if this save. Great. So there's our image right there. So now we want to go back to our Final Cut project and we're going to import that frame. So you get desktop. How to draw. We pick the number one JPEG that we just drew. Go over to import select. And there you have it. So this is our frame that we just drew. And I'm going to drag this down to overlay the video. So as you can see, it's down there. And uh, we can see the drawing that we just made. But when you play it, it overlays the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to here and we're going to click screen. So you go to blend mode, down to screen, and then it blends it into the video. So it overlays it on the video. And then you pretty much do that as many times as you want to and that's how you get that effect. Usually music videos they like to make it really quick so you bring it down to like one frame one or two frames so when you pass by it it's just really quick so you can see this takes a long time you gotta do a lot of these so I'm just gonna speed this up real quick and do a whole bunch of drawings and show you what it looks like man. Thanks for checking out my tutorial. If it helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.